Doctor's done. We're gonna, you're gonna see a little bit of different stuff today. I'm gonna walk for a while. Hey, city. Hi, Annie. Here's a park. I don't know the name of it. Oh, wait, let's find out the name of it. Hey, Pierre. All right, this is Stuyvesant Square Park. Graham, hi, welcome, Aberdeen. Hey, Levi. So, um, oh look, and they give you free poop bags for your dog. Hi, Michael. I'm surprised, you know, somebody doesn't just take them all. <laughs> so this is Stuyvesant Square <laughs> Park which is kind of empty. It's not that cold out. Pumpkin? I ain't no pumpkin. <laughs> Who's calling me a pumpkin? I'm just kidding. How are you? You have like a hundred different hats, I have to say. Pigeons, pigeons. Oops, sorry. Somebody's gonna have to do a study of pigeons. Istanbul, yes, yes, I used to have my Kangal, Choban, Karabash. Paul, oh, bonjour, comment ça va? Regarde une droite différente. Let's see, which way do we want to go? Not that way. Thank you, Paul. Merci. I guess we'll go this way. We'll end up on the same road you guys are used to seeing, but... I do have to go to work, so, and my shoe is not tied tight enough. You got a new one ordered? <laughs> How many hats do you have, really? I had a friend whose boyfriend had something like a hundred baseball caps. Buenos dias, quienes, mamashi, habla espanol también. Here's a church. Look, there's kids' park playground on top of that roof. That must be a school. Twenty. You have twenty. Uh, it's not too obs obscenely a mince number of hats. It's more than I have. See, sí. que bueno, the Jack and Jill school. But that's not the school across the street. Gonna be a different one. Playground. So uh, the doctor has referred me to another one that I have to go to on Wednesday. Doesn't have an appointment till Wednesday. So I hope everything's okay, but I won't know for a while. I have a pain in my neck. <laughs> Look at that funny thing hanging there. Oh, you can't see it. I don't know what that is. All right, we're on 16th Street. So, oh, I'm hungry. That smells good. Mm. This is a typical American diner with a giant menu. Oh my gosh, Michael. I actually got have gotten sick from those men. Literally sick. So it wouldn't be such a surprise. There's something to be said for like when you have a very stressful work environment. It can make you sick. For sure. Yum. Folia, folia. Bianco Formaggi. Wood fired pizza. Why is everything so dark? Is it dark on your guys' side too? Let's see. We are going to 23rd and then we'll walk over. So, we actually haven't seen this street too much. It's kind of new. Hey, Joseph. By the way, Amy, baby girl, I just, I saw you gave me a star on the last scope. Thank you so much. 
Hi, Joseph. It's such a funny thing because I didn't even know those stars were going on. And I had a few. Hi, Lincoln. It's actually not my eye. That was years ago. Um, that story. This was my throat. It's been all... What's Joseph? What's... What's... I don't know if it's okay either. Hi, Payne. They're going to send me to a specialist next Wednesday. So we'll see. I'm still a little worried. But luckily, there's doctors who know what they're doing and they can tell me. I take a test. I might need a CAT scan. Let's see if I have some problem in my throat. It's not muscular. So. But it's not lymph nodes, so that's good. I think the best, yeah, thank you. I will try. But, you know, if any of you are at work and are causing stress to people, just don't. <laughs> be nice people to work with. Don't be angry at work. It freaks everybody out. There's nothing at work that deserves anger. Because, you know, you know that saying, the work will come after you? Could all drop dead tomorrow and the same work would be there for the next person to pick it up. So there's just nothing worth being angry about. It's like, whatever. Don't cause people stress. Maybe I get a newspaper here. Yes, this is the free newspaper I like. It's called Metro. Why is everything so dark? There we go. Sacramento. Oh, Joe, Joseph in Glendale, you changed your name. That's why I didn't recognize you. Congratulations. Sacramento. I think these guys should recognize Christmas is done. Well, they're all set up for Pat St. Patrick's Day. Patty McGuire's Ale House. St. Patrick's Day's coming. Congratulations, Joe. That's very exciting. Sacramento's supposed to be a really nice city. Five hours at Sacramento Airport. <laughs> I was five hours in the Amsterdam Airport one time, maybe six, and I was like, I'm just going to stay here. And then all of a sudden I was like, that's stupid. Let me go into town. So I did. Chinese last night, chicken, green peppers, black pe mmm. That sounds yummy. I always order the same thing at Chinese restaurants, which is chicken and broccoli with white sauce. But you have to tell them don't make the white sauce too gloppy. Google charged my log on. Oh, changed it. Oh, okay, yeah, please. I often spend a lot of July away from the city on vacation, but here's a little building ramp. We're doing construction in there. But here we can see through the little hidey hole. Well, it's not much to see. But um, new jobs are exciting. It's a little scary. But I'm sure you'll do great. And new cities are very exciting. I'll let them go. I'm not really into rushing right now. I'm going to be a little bit late for work, but I told them I might be super late because if I got sent to a specialist that could see me today, I would have done it today. But I have to go next Wednesday instead at noon. So I wrote it on the referral slip so I won't forget. Hey, Samuel, here comes a CVS. Samuel... Samuel wrote to me, he's always missing it, but that if I see a CVS, I can think of him. <laughs> so here it is. See, now look at these buildings. These are so not East Village. You remind me. Thank you, Lincoln. Oh, I just hope it's okay. And wh whomever said, you know, maybe, oh, Michael, maybe it's the stress at work. I don't think I didn't think that. Hey, if you tried, if you haven't tried the Cafe Patron, that's really good. See? It's a tiny little bottle. 
Not that I'm promoting drinking, but <laughs> if you were going to try something different. I really like tequila, and I thought, ew, why would you want coffee-flavored tequila? But it's thick. Look at that tall building. What are the cross streets? Um, little stuff. Gonna sip. I hope so. Thank you. Um, this is 22nd Street, and that's a really tall, skinny building. There's two of them one right next to the other and when you're on one side this one looks taller when you're on the other side the other one looks taller so I don't know which one is actually taller you'll see it in a minute the both of them here's Molly's so I'm gonna be entering a soda bread contest I'm a good so I'm a good baker of soda bread and cookies oh that's pretty I bet that's really pretty at night. That's got a million lights on it. And I'm hungry, so I should eat something before I go to work. I'm there till 8 o'clock tonight. And all I had so far was coffee. Look, we have flowers. How could the world be a bad place when this just comes out of the ground? Michael, <laughs> I don't know if they'd make it across the pond. I could try. Brought cannoli at a pastry shop. Mm. I'm supposed to stop eating sugar. But when I'm baking cookies, it's hard to not nibble. For sure. Alright, so we're on 23rd. That's uptown. It's downtown and we are going cross town everyone should give up sugar yeah I mean it's kind of crazy there was um, on Twitter a picture of uh, that, of a thing that somebody had posted outside of a school cafeteria showing each drink and the amount of sugar that's in it and for a soda like a coca-cola not to pick on any one particular brand it was literally like a cup of sugar, if not more. I don't know if it's true or not, but I don't really drink soda much, except um, orange or root beer with pizza, which I'm not supposed to eat pizza either. Look at that new building inside. There's a mirror. So, if you never wondered, New York is always under construction. There's an old saying that New York would be a great city if they would just finish it. <laughs> you have Coke or Pepsi Zero. <clears throat> yeah, the thing is, the bubbles make me hiccup. I'll take a sip and then I go, like every sip I take, I have one little hiccup. It's very strange. I think the bubbles do it but it doesn't happen when I drink beer as as much it does happen a little bit but it's really there's the soda bubbles are different all right I want to show you those two tall buildings okay see how one is see how this hold on I can't see anything anybody's saying see how that one looks way taller than the other one when you're on the other side looking in this direction, that one looks taller than this one. So, objectively speaking, I don't know which one is taller. It's like this new fad of building tall, skinny, skinny buildings, which I would be super nervous to live inside of. That one's kind of like the one, the World Financial Center. Look at the clouds reflected in the glass. Yeah, you're right. That's just what I was going to say. It's got that downward pointing triangle thing. But the triangles going up don't finish themselves. I like how the clouds are reflected in the glass, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, let me get out of the light. 
They make edges for that for the wind. Oh, interesting, Lincoln. What about the buildings that have sharp edges, though? Like, look, that building has got a whole bunch of, like, weird little cutout things. See, now they're looking more like the same height. Oh, yay, Joe, I'm glad. Well, there's a big baby store. I feel like eating, like, giant amount of food. I just saw this thing online where this guy eats 4,000 calories a day, but at one sitting, and he doesn't eat anything else the rest of the day, and his body looks like a bodybuilder. But they're showing all the various meals he eats. Like, you know, two, two hands trying to hold up a burrito. I mean, enormous amounts of food. Eight or nine hot dogs at once. Three guest pass. Big steak. Yeah, I could eat one of those. Although I just got told I'm supposed to cut down on beef. Cholesterol thing. Now look, they look, they're looking very close to the size. So busy. I guess, oh, here's a pret. That's where I was going to eat closer to work. I might as well eat here. All right, here's me, you guys. I'm going to eat some food. They have nice food. You get to pick it out. Let's see. Can you see? You pick it out and then eat by yourself at the table. Here's me. Hi. Crazy. That looked like a crazy me. I was like, weird lighting. All right, so uh, maybe see you later. If not, have a great day. Thank you. Have fun and thanks for joining. Talk to you soon. Ciao, au revoir. Merci tout le monde. Thank you, everybody. Bye, have fun.